Why am I wet and on a patio? Art. Art. I have a friend who's a model. Her name's Nani. I tried to do an underwater photo shoot with her. <laughs> Not smart to do it this time of the year. <laughs> she nearly froze herself to death. But I got some really good pictures of her outside the pool and I was able to able to somehow frame her against the black night sky and I could really see all the the shape and shadow on her body. It was it was really beautiful. I think you're super creative and I feel like uh, you're so your ideas always have a story to it and it's always like the stories that have I can barely speak. The stories <laughs> that come with the idea, it's always interesting. And it's super creative. So I think you're a great artist. Today I wanted to paint myself. I don't like necessarily the way that I look. It's even amongst the most beautiful people we still can't fit within society's ideals. So when I paint myself, I do tend to give myself slightly better features. I can't help it. We all want the most ideal versions of ourselves, but that doesn't exist without Photoshop and Facetune and really, we've. We've gone too far, I think, in society. Don't love ourselves anymore for the way that we actually look. I've been challenging myself on Snapchat to post a non-filtered selfie. It's, it's been difficult to try to see the beauty in yourself. Because what even is beautiful? Where are the standards anymore? So I challenged myself for this project to to make something that I wasn't comfortable with, which is why I painted a portrait of myself. With filters and everything on our cameras and our phones nowadays, it's so easy to look at yourself in the mirror and not see yourself the way that you've been training yourself to see on these filters and screens and Facebook and Instagram, nobody looks like themselves anymore. It's really weird. It's very difficult to find beauty and peace in yourself and in your personal aesthetics, the way you naturally look. Beauty is something that we cannot find truly on our devices. Beauty is something that only you can see when you take off the mask of your digital world. Everything that exists naturally is already beautiful. You just have to find the beauty and look past all the standards and societal ideals and filters and just take it all away. And then you can truly see that art and beauty is everywhere, even in yourself, without filters. We live in a world that's already plenty beautiful on its own. <laughs>